Hey everyone, this is Dan Nissel back again with another update on my ANET A8 Prusa i3 clone. So I got it all together as you can see. It uh, it took me about seven hours roughly, yeah, give or take, after stopping a few times doing other things. I successfully got it calibrated the first time, started printing this um, calibration cube. It, and sorry the drywall, I just got off work, I had to go in for an emergency. Um, it was going good, but I had the USB plugged into the computer, I hit it, it disconnected it, stopped the print. I printed a second one, but unfortunately I wasn't thinking and didn't replace the filament. So we have this nice not finished cube. It was on the last layer. Don't like the bottom. It's very rough, but not bad. So I come home. I had to use the hot pink because, you know, why not? And I'm going to pull this off the board right now. There we go. This is the 40 by 40 calibration cube. I do not like the bottom. The bottom is going to have to get fixed. I don't know if you can actually see that. Hmm. Okay. That's not doing that. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm just going to mess this up more. Apparently, I don't remember how to use this. <laughs> Focus. Whatever. It's rough. Take my word for it. You can kind of see it right there. Other than that, the top is actually very nice. The sides are very clean. And we have the old trusty caliper here. Just out of curiosity, let's see how accurate this machine is. Now, once again, this is a 40 by 40 cube. So, might help if I turned it on. Oh, did my battery die? Wow, my battery died. Of course. So, oh well, good thing it, it still works. We'll go ahead and open her up. And um, we're pretty much on the money for 40 millimeters. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty close. Yeah, I mean, we're we're pretty dead on. Nah, it doesn't work. It has numbers. Numbers work. That's actually very impressive for a kit such as this. <laughs> and I'm printing on nasty yellow masking tape that they chipped with because my blue masking tape hasn't showed up yet. So there's that. I mean, hey, that's a beautiful little calibration cube. I have a few other calibration tests I'm going to do. I'm going to do like the tree frog and... Things like that. I'm also going to be printing some upgrades, getting rid of this nice little fan duct right there. And let me see if I can actually take this off. Do, 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 do. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we'll just get a little close up of it. There's the screen. It's um, still got the plastic on it, but that doesn't bother me. My cable management is kind of horrible right now mainly because I just wanted to get it up and running. But yeah, other than that, I have some four millimeter drill bits right here to clean out the tip. Zoom in on that. Zoom, thank you. Focus. There we go. And I also have a Pyrex borosilicate glass plate, which will be going over this, taking this tape off, clipping that down, and then putting the masking tape over that for PLA, ABS, I will be using hairspray or something of the like. But yeah, I'll work on the bottom, get that a little bit better, because that's kind of bad. But other than that, the sides, I mean, they're really nice. So definitely worth the money already. I am thoroughly happy with it, and I'm tickled pink, as you can see from the calibration cube. But Thank you all. This is just a quick update. I will be posting a lot more 3D printing videos. Probably do some time lapse of different things I'm going to be printing. I have 
a couple upgrades as I said I'm gonna be doing with this I'm gonna be making a little enclosure for the power uh, CP uh, can't talk the PCB I also have an on off switch for the power supply as well as a fan to put on it so just uh, yeah stay tuned it's gonna be it's gonna be fun